Hey everybody, been a while. Uh, on a uh, remodeled house, uh, doing some dead fur. About 1,500 square feet. Got some open steps here. Riser material. Riser material. That and then, uh, hmm. let it go. I guess I can use that. So we're gonna return that. We're gonna put a four to five and turn that into here. And that will. Out the bar a little bit, but uh, that's how that's the look they want. We got that, and then yesterday I uh, made up my jig. Let's see here. There it is. Made up my jig. So pretty easy to do if you got a track saw. And that's about the track size. You can get uh, you can get everything left or right returns. So the the um, inlay bearing runs along this. So basically, you just take your raw step. Make sure your ends are square, or whatever. And then you can clamp that on there like that. And then you run your router. Where's that at? I got the round over bit today. I gotta make these. They didn't sell any returns. Nobody had these returns, so I had to make them. So, and then uh, take my bit and just run it down. <laughs> until you've got uh, this cut all done. And uh, yeah, it works out pretty good. These are all cut. These are cut inch and a quarter wide. That's your typical overhang for your nosing. Um, anyways, so, and they're epoxied together. So that's what I did yesterday. Um, Really nice to be able to have that. Uh, this here, we used to do it all with the chop saw, but uh, yeah, having that in the right uh, router bit. So, anyways, that's how we did it. So, that's what we're up to. Right now, I've got. Uh, I've got some, uh, my stir, my treads are crowned a little bit, so I'm taking that crown out with the planer right now. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna make up my one, two, three, four, five, five risers with their returns. And those are just regular box. So that's what we're up to. I should have had some video yesterday while I was doing this here. That would have been good for some guys to see. Um, just in the field, making it up in the field as you go. Uh, having the right router bit and the template, you can clamp down to follow. Uh, yeah, and don't try to, you don't try to go the full thickness of the flooring. Uh, sometimes it takes two or three passes as you extend the bit down. So, anyways, that's what we're up to. I'll keep you guys posted as we start to put these together. So, thanks for watching.